Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2022 Hyundai Palisade, we're gonna be checking out the Yakima Stage 2 platform style bike rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Palisade, I think it looks really cool. Actually, Yakima makes really good stuff, uh, very well built, and this one kind of just has a modern feel to it. Uh, so I think it kind of matches up with the, with the Palisade. Uh, what's cool about this one too, you kind of customize them a little bit. So this one is gray in color, um, but there's a black one available too, um, if that's more your style. And this particular one can hold up to two bikes. If you need more, I know this is kind of a family, uh, you know, kind of a popular family SUV. And so if you're carrying a lot of people around, there's a four bike version uh, available as well. But I do just right off the bat want to, want to address one of the big questions that we get asked a lot. Uh, and that is, are you still gonna be able to have access to the back of your SUV? And with this one, the answer is yes. And you can even tilt this down uh, when your bikes are loaded on it. So pretty convenient. The handle's right here, easy to get to. Some of the other racks similar to this, the handle is kind of in here. It's kind of a little more of a pain to work, but this one's really easy to get to. Let me just drop that down. And now we're gonna have more than enough space to uh, open up our hatch and get whatever we might need and then out of the back. This rack, one of the uh, cool things is there's gonna be no frame contact, right? So front wheel is gonna be held down with this wheel hook and then a strap on the back and it's solid. You know, I mean, there's movement here in the rack, but the bike is secure, you know? And so uh, it's good to see. Uh, another thing, you can use e-bikes with this. I know those are getting real popular. And since this does set up a little bit higher, if you end up having trouble getting that, you know, putting it on and taking it off, you can actually get a ramp. Uh, they offer that kind of locks into here and you can wheel it up. So pretty cool. Um, has a lock too built in so you can keep everything secure. And uh, it's just really straightforward, easy to use and, and kind of figure out. So uh, pretty good stuff there. Uh, with that said though, let's go ahead and take this off so, so we can have a better look at it. Uh, I do always suggest starting with the back strap here. These are pretty nice too, you know, ratcheting straps. And then for your wheel hook, you're gonna have a lever that you can push. And when you do this, hold on to your bike because it's the only thing holding it up, right? Push that in, swing the arm down. And we'll have uh, more than enough room to get this off and, and go do some riding. And obviously, uh, once you got your bike off, good habit just to pop these back down and swing down. And the back uh, tire tray is adjustable too, you know, so it'll fit all different size bikes and everything else. And one of the things that you have to think about uh, whenever you put a bike rack on is it's going to add some space or take up some space on the back of your palisade so uh, i'll go ahead grab my tape and we'll figure out exactly how much room uh, it's taken up back here so we'll go ahead and just measure from the back of our bumper to the very end here that's right at 36 inches so uh, if you got a small garage or something keep that in mind when you're not using this though it does fold up Pull up on this lever and push it upright. It sits nice and tight against the back of our SUV. And with it like this, it really doesn't take up a bunch of space. I'll just measure from our license plate here to the very edge. And with it like this, it looks like it's only going to add about 14 inches. Moving on down here, uh, the rack is gonna work with those two inch by two inch trailer hitches like we have here today on our Hyundai. And if we kind of follow this out, we're going to have this knob and when you tighten this down, what's going to happen is it's going to help eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point and kind of keep things quiet and won't hear it clanking around. So to kind of give you an example of that, let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is going to move with our palisade and not on its own. Other than that though, at the end of the day, you know, this is a really nice bike rack, uh, very well built. And in my opinion, it looks nice enough to where you could just leave this on whenever you're not riding. And that'll finish up our look at of the Yakima Stage 2 platform style bike rack on our 2022 Hyundai Palisade.